Rafael Nadal Rafael Nadal Parera, Catalan, Spanish, born the 3rd of June 1986, is a Spanish professional tennis player, currently ranked world number 2 in men's singles tennis by the Association of Tennis Professionals, ATP. Nadal has won 17 Grand Slam singles titles, the second most in history for a male player, as well as a record 33 ATP World Tour Masters 1000 titles, 20 ATP World Tour 500 tournaments, and the 2008 Olympic gold medal in singles. In addition, Nadal has held the number one ranking for a total of 196 weeks. In majors, Nadal has won a record 11 French Open titles, 3 US Open titles, 2 Wimbledon titles, and 1 Australian Open title. Nadal has also won 57 clay court titles, including his 11 French Open titles, the most of any player in the Open era, with 81 consecutive match wins on clay. Nadal has the longest single surface win streak of any player in the Open era. He was also a member of the winning Spain Davis Cup team in 2004, 2008, 2009 and 2011. In 2010, he became the seventh male player in history and youngest of five in the Open era to achieve the career Grand Slam at age 24. He is the second male player, after Andre Agassi, to complete the singles career Golden Slam. In 2011, Nadal was named the Laureus World Sportsman of the Year. Early life Rafael Nadal was born in Manica, a town on the island of Mallorca in the Balearic Islands. Spain to parents Ana Maria Pereira and Sebastian Nadal. His father is a businessman, owner of an insurance company, glass and window company Vidas Mallorca, and the restaurant, Sapunta. Rafael has a younger sister, Maria Isabel. His uncle, Miguel Angel Nadal, is a retired professional footballer, who played for RCD Mallorca, FC Barcelona, and the Spanish national team. He idolized Barcelona striker Ronaldo as a child, and via his uncle got access to the Barcelona dressing room to have a photo with the Brazilian. Nadal supports football clubs Real Madrid and RCD Mallorca, recognizing in Rafael a natural talent. Another uncle, Tony Nadal, a former professional tennis player, introduced him to tennis when he was 3 years old, at age 8. Nadal won an under-12 regional tennis championship at a time when he was also a promising football player. This made Tony Nadal intensify training, and at that time he encouraged Nadal to play left-handed for a natural advantage on the tennis court, as he noticed Nadal played forehand shots with two hands. At age 12, Nadal won the Spanish and European tennis titles in his age group, while also playing football full-time. Nadal's father made him choose between football and tennis so that his schoolwork would not deteriorate entirely. Nadal said, I chose tennis. Football had to stop straight away. When he was 14, the Spanish Tennis Federation requested that Nadal leave Mallorca and move to Barcelona to continue his tennis training. His family turned down this request, partly because they feared his education would suffer, but also because Tony said that I don't want to believe that you have to go to America or other places to be a good athlete, you can do it from your home. The decision to stay home meant less financial support from the federation. Instead, Nadal's father covered the costs. In May 2001, he defeated former Grand Slam tournament champion Pat Cash in a clay court exhibition match. Professional tennis career 2001 to 2004 Nadal turned professional at age 15 and participated in two events on the ITF Junior Circuit. On the 29th of April 2002, at 15 years and 10 months, the world number 762 Nadal won his first ATP match, defeating Ramon Delgado, and became the ninth player in the Open era to do so before the age of 16. In 2001, Nadal finished the year with a Challengers Series record of 1-1 in singles with no titles or finals appearances. He did not participate in any doubles challengers events. At ITF Futures, Nadal's record was 7-5 in singles and 1-2 in doubles, with no titles or finals appearances. In 2002, age 16, Nadal reached the semi-finals of the boys singles tournament at Wimbledon. In his first ITF junior event, in the same year, he helped Spain defeat the US in the final of the Junior Davis Cup in his second, and final appearance on the ITF junior circuit. 
Nadal's challenger level record in 2002 was 4-2 in singles with no titles. He did not participate in any doubles challengers events. Nadal finished the year with a futures record of 40-9 in singles and 10-9 in doubles. He won 6 singles tournaments at this level, including 5 on clay and 1 on hard courts. He did not reach any doubles finals. Nadal also entered the clay court Mallorca Open, part of the ATP International Series, at the end of April as a wild card, where he participated in both singles and doubles. In singles, Nadal won his first ever ATP match, defeating Ramon Delgado in the round of 32. He then was defeated in the round of 16 by Olivier Rochas. In doubles, Nadal and his partner, Bartolome Solvavidon, were defeated in the first round by David Adams and Simon Aspilin. In 2003, Nadal won two challenger titles and finished the year ranked number 49. He won the ATP Newcomer of the Year award. In his Wimbledon debut in 2003, he became the youngest man to reach the third round since Boris Becker in 1984. After Wimbledon Nadal participated at Bastard, where he lost to Nicolas Lepenti in the quarterfinals, and at Stuttgart, where he lost to Fernando Gonzalez in the round of 32. Finally, at UMAG, he lost to Carlos Moyer in the semi-finals. After playing two more challenger level events, the last challenger tournament of his career, Nadal finished his 2003 campaign with three first round losses in ATP events. Nadal also competed in seven doubles tournaments in 2003, and won his first ATP title, doubles or singles, at the clay court Croatia Open in UMAG, where he partnered with Alex Lopez Moron to defeat Todd Perry and Thomas Shimada in straight sets in the final. 2004 started with a doubles championship alongside Tommy Robredo at the Maharashtra Open. In singles, Nadal reached the third round of the 2004 Australian Open where he lost in three sets against Australian Leighton Hewitt. Later that year, the 34th ranked 17 year old played the first of many matches against Federer, then ranked number one, at the Miami Open, and won in straight sets, before losing to Fernando Gonzalez in the fourth round. He was one of the six players who defeated Federer that year, along with Tim Henman, Albert Costa, Gustavo Curtin, Dominic Herbati, and Thomas Burdick. He missed most of the clay court season, including the French Open, because of a stress fracture in his left ankle. In August, Nadal won his first ATP singles title at the Procom Open by defeating Jose Acasuso in the final in two sets. Nadal, at 18 years and 6 months, became the youngest player to register a singles victory in a Davis Cup final for a winning nation, by beating number 2 Andy Roddick. He helped Spain clinch the 2004 title over the United States in a 3-2 win. He finished the year ranked number 51. 2005. First Grand Slam title at the 2005 Australian Open. Nadal lost in the fourth round to eventual runner-up Leighton Hewitt. Two months later, he reached the final of the 2005 Miami Masters. And despite being two points from a straight sets victory, he was defeated in five sets by number one Roger Federer. Both performances were considered breakthroughs for Nadal. He then dominated the spring clay course season. He won 24 consecutive singles matches, breaking Andre Agassi's open era record of consecutive match wins for a male teenager. Nadal won the Tournier Cone de Godo in Barcelona and beat 2004 French Open runner-up Guillermo Coria in the finals of the 2005 Monte Carlo Masters and the 2005 Rome Masters. These victories raised his ranking to number 5 and made him one of the favorites at his career first French Open. On his 19th birthday, Nadal defeated Federer in the 2005 French Open semi-finals being one of only four players to defeat the top-seeded player that year, along with Murat Safin, Richard Gasquet, and David Nalbandian. Two days later, he defeated Mariano Puerta in the final, becoming the second male player, after Mats Wanander in 1982, to win the French Open on his first attempt. He was the first teenager to win a Grand Slam singles title since Pete Sampras won the 1990 US Open at age 19. Winning improved his ranking to number 3. Early in his career, Nadal became known for his habit of biting the trophies he won. Three days after his victory in Paris, Nadal's 24-match winning streak was snapped in the first round of the grass court Jerry Weber Open in Halle, Germany, where he lost to Alexander Wask. 
He then lost in the second round of 2005 Wimbledon to Gillis Murray of Luxembourg. Immediately after Wimbledon, Nadal won 16 consecutive matches and 3 consecutive tournaments, bringing his ranking to number 2 on the 25th of July 2005. Nadal started his North American summer hardcourt season by defeating Agassi in the final of the 2005 Canada Masters, but lost in the first round of the 2005 Cincinnati Masters. Nadal was seeded second at the 2005 US Open, but was upset in the third round by number 49 James Blake in four sets. In September, he defeated Korea in the final of the China Open in Beijing and won both of his Davis Cup matches against Italy. In October, he won his fourth ATP Masters Series title of the year, defeating Ivan Ljubicic in the final of the 2005 Madrid Masters. He then suffered a foot injury that prevented his competing in the year-ending Tennis Masters Cup. Both Nadal and Federer won 11 singles titles and 4 ATP Masters Series titles in 2005. Nadal broke Mats Wielander's previous teenage record of 9 in 1983. Nine of Nadal's titles were on clay, and the remainder were on hard courts. Nadal won 79 matches, second only to Federer's 81. Nadal won the Golden Bagel Award for 2005, with 11 6-0 sets during the year. Also, he earned the highest year-end ranking ever by a Spaniard and the ATP Most Improved Player of the Year Award. 2006, second French Open title Nadal missed the Australian Open because of a foot injury. In February, he lost in the semi-finals of the first tournament he played, the Open 13 tournament in Marseille, France. Two weeks later, he handed Roger Federer his first loss of the year in the final of the Dubai Duty Free Men's Open. In 2006, Rafael Nadal and Andy Murray were the only two men who defeated Federer. To complete the spring hardcourt season, Nadal was upset in the semi-finals of the Pacific Life Open at Indian Wells, California, by James Blake, and was upset in the second round of the 2006 Miami Masters. On European clay, Nadal won all four tournaments he entered in 24 consecutive matches. He defeated Federer in the final of the Masters Series Monte Carlo in four sets. The following week, he defeated Tommy Robredo in the final of the Open Sabadell Atlantico tournament in Barcelona. After a one-week break, Nadal won the Masters Series Internationale BNL di Italia in Rome, defeating Federer in a fifth set tiebreaker in the final. After saving two match points and equaling John Borg's tally of 16 ATP titles won as a teenager, Nadal broke Argentinian Guillermo Vilas's 29-year male record of 53 consecutive clay court match victories by winning his first round match at the French Open. Vilas presented Nadal with a trophy, but commented later that Nadal's featuring was less impressive than his own because Nadal's winning streak covered two years and was accomplished by adding easy tournaments to his schedule. Nadal went on to play Federer in the final of the French Open. The first two sets of the match were hardly competitive, as the rivals traded 6-1 sets. Nadal won the third set easily and served for the match in the fourth set before Federer broke him and forced a tiebreaker. Nadal won the tiebreaker and became the first to defeat Federer in a Grand Slam tournament final. Nadal injured his shoulder during a quarter-final match against Leighton Hewitt at the Artois Championships, played on grass at the Queen's Club in London. Nadal was unable to complete the match, which ended his 26-match winning streak. Nadal was seeded second at Wimbledon, and was two points from defeat against American qualifier Robert Kendrick in the second round before coming back to win in five sets. In the third round, Nadal defeated number 20 Andre Agassi in straight sets in Agassi's last career match at Wimbledon. Nadal also won his next three matches in straight sets, which set up his first Wimbledon final, which was against Federer, who had won this tournament the three previous years. Nadal was the first Spanish man since Manuel Santana in 1966 to reach the Wimbledon final, but Federer won the match in four sets to win his fourth consecutive Wimbledon title. During the lead up to the US Open, Nadal played the two Masters Series tournaments in North America. He was upset in the third round of the Rogers Cup in Toronto and the quarterfinals of the Western and Southern Financial Group Masters in Cincinnati. Nadal was seeded second at the US Open, but lost in the quarterfinals to number 54 Mikhail Yazny of Russia in four sets. Nadal played only three tournaments the remainder of the year. Joachim Johansson. Ranked number 690, upset Nadal in the second round of the Stockholm Open. 
the following week, Nadal lost to Thomas Burditch in the quarterfinals of the year's last Masters Series tournament, the Mutual Madrilena Masters in Madrid. During the round-robin stage of the year-ending Tennis Masters Cup, Nadal lost to James Blake but defeated Nikolai Davidenko and Robredo. Because of those two victories, Nadal qualified for the semi-finals, where he lost to Federer. This was Nadal's third loss in nine career matches with Federer. Nadal went on to become the first player since Andre Agassi in 1994-95 to finish the year ranked number two in consecutive years. 2007. Third French Open title Nadal started the year by playing in six hardcore tournaments. He lost in the semi-finals and first round of his first two tournaments and then lost in the quarter-finals of the Australian Open to eventual runner-up Fernando Gonzalez. After another quarter-final loss at the Dubai Tennis Championships, he won the 2007 Indian Wells Masters, before Novak Djokovic defeated him in the quarter-finals of the 2007 Miami Masters. He had comparatively more success after returning to Europe to play five clay court tournaments. He won the titles at the Masters Series Monte Carlo, the Open Sabadell Atlantico in Barcelona, and the Masters Series Internazionale BNL di Italia in Rome, before losing to Roger Federer in the final of the Masters Series Hamburg. This defeat ended his 81-match winning streak on clay, which is the male Open era record for consecutive wins on a single surface. He then rebounded to win the French Open for the third straight year, defeating Federer once again in the final. Between the tournaments in Barcelona and Rome, Nadal defeated Federer in the Battle of Surfaces exhibition match in Mallorca, Spain. With the tennis court being half grass and half clay, Nadal played the Artois Championships at the Queen's Club in London for the second consecutive year. As in 2006, Nadal was upset in the quarterfinals. Nadal then won consecutive five set matches during the third and fourth rounds of Wimbledon before being beaten by Federer in the five set final. This was Federer's first five set match at Wimbledon since 2001. In July, Nadal won the clay court Mercedes Cup in Stuttgart, which proved to be his last title of the year. He played three important tournaments during the North American summer hard court season. He was a semi-finalist at the Masters Series Rogers Cup in Montreal before losing his first match at the Western and Southern Financial Group Masters in Cincinnati. He was the second seeded player at the US Open, but was defeated in the fourth round by David Ferrer. After a month-long break from tournament tennis, Nadal played the Mutual Madrilena Masters in Madrid and the BNP Paribas Masters in Paris. David Nalbandian upset him in the quarterfinals and final of those tournaments. To end the year, Nadal won two of his three round robin matches to advance to the semi-finals of the Tennis Masters Cup in Shanghai, where Federer defeated him in straight sets. During the second half of the year, Nadal battled a knee injury suffered during the Wimbledon final. In addition, there were rumors at the end of the year that the foot injury he suffered during 2005 caused long-term damage, which were given credence by coach Tony Nadal's claim that the problem was serious. Nadal and his spokesman strongly denied this, however, with Nadal himself calling the story totally false. 2008. Two majors. Olympic gold and number one Nadal began the year in India, where he was comprehensively beaten by Mikhail Yazny in the final of the Chennai Open. Nadal then reached the semi-finals of the Australian Open for the first time. Joe Wilfried Tsonga defeated Nadal in the semi-final of 2008 Australian Open. Nadal also reached the final of the Miami Masters for the second time. During the spring clay court season, Nadal won four singles titles and defeated Roger Federer in three finals. He beat Federer at the Masters Series Monte Carlo for the third straight year, capturing his Open Era record fourth consecutive title there. Nadal then won his fourth consecutive title at the Open Sabadell Atlantico tournament in Barcelona. A few weeks later, Nadal won his first title at the Masters Series Hamburg, defeating Federer in a three-set final. He then won the French Open, becoming the fifth man in the Open era to win a Grand Slam singles title without losing a set. He defeated Federer in the final for the third straight year, but this was the most lopsided of all their matches, as Nadal only lost four games and gave Federer his first bagel since 1999. This was Nadal's fourth consecutive French title, tying John Borg's all-time record. Nadal became the fourth male player during Open Era to win the same Grand Slam singles tournament four consecutive years the others being Borg, 
Pete Sampras, and Federer. Nadal then played Federer in the final of Wimbledon for the third consecutive year, in the most anticipated match of their rivalry. Nadal entered the final on a 23-match winning streak, including his first career grass court title at the Artois Championship staged at the Queen's Club in London prior to Wimbledon. Federer had won his record fifth grass court title at the Jerry Webber Open in Halle, and then reached the Wimbledon final without losing a set, unlike their previous two Wimbledon finals, though. Federer was not the prohibitive favorite, and many analysts picked Nadal to win. They played the longest, in terms of time on court, not in terms of numbers of games. Final in Wimbledon history, and because of rain delays, Nadal won the fifth set 9-7 in near darkness. The match was widely lauded as the greatest Wimbledon final ever, with some tennis critics even calling it the greatest match in tennis history. By winning his first Wimbledon title, Nadal became the third man in the Open era to win both the French Open and Wimbledon in the same year, after Rod Lather in 1969, and Borg in 1978-1980. Federer later accomplished this the following year, as well as the second Spaniard to win Wimbledon. He also ended Federer's record streak of five consecutive Wimbledon titles and 65 straight wins on grass courts. This was also the first time that Nadal won two Grand Slam tournaments back to back. After Wimbledon, Nadal extended his winning streak to a career best 32 matches. He won his second Rogers Cup title in Toronto, and then made it into the semi-finals of the Western and Southern Financial Group Masters in Cincinnati. As a result, Nadal clinched the US Open Series and, combined with Federer's early round losses in both of those tournaments, finally earned the world number one ranking on the 18th of August, officially ending Federer's record four and a half year reign at the top. At the 2008 Beijing Olympics, Nadal defeated Fernando Gonzalez of Chile in the final to win his first Olympic gold medal. At the US Open, Nadal was the top seeded player for the first time at a Grand Slam tournament. He did not lose a set during his first three matches, defeating qualifiers in the first and second rounds and Victor Troicki in the third round. In the semi-finals, he lost to Andy Murray, later in the year in Madrid. Nadal helped Spain defeat the United States in the Davis Cup semi-finals. At the Mutua Madrid and the Masters in Madrid, Nadal lost in the semi-finals to Gillis Simon. However, his performance at the event guaranteed that he would become the first Spaniard during the Open era to finish the year ranked number one. Two weeks later at the BNP Paribas Masters in Paris, Nadal reached the quarterfinals, where he withdrew because of a knee injury. The following week, Nadal announced his withdrawal from the year-ending Tennis Masters Cup in Shanghai, citing tendonitis of the knee. On 10 November, Nadal withdrew from Spain's Davis Cup final against Argentina, as his knee injury had not healed completely. 2009, Australian Open title Nadal's first official ATP Tour event for the year was the 250 Series Qatar Open in Doha, where he lost in the quarterfinals to Gael Monfields. Nadal also entered and won the tournament's doubles event with partner Mark Lopez, defeating the number one ranked doubles team of Daniel Nestor and Menard Zemonjic in the final. At the 2009 Australian Open, Nadal won his first five matches without dropping a set, before defeating compatriot Fernando Verdasco in the semi-finals in the second longest match in Australian Open history at 5 hours and 14 minutes. This win set up a championship match with Roger Federer, their first meeting ever in a hard-court Grand Slam tournament. Nadal defeated Federer in five sets to earn his first hard-court Grand Slam singles title, making him the first Spaniard to win the Australian Open. At the ABN AMRO World Tennis Tournament in Rotterdam, Nadal lost in the final to second-seeded Andy Murray in three sets. Although this knee problem was not associated with Nadal's right knee tendonitis, it was serious enough to cause him to withdraw from the Dubai Championships a week later. In March, Nadal helped Spain defeat Serbia in a Davis Cup World Group first round tie on clay in Benidorm, Spain. Nadal defeated John Kotipsarevic and Novak Djokovic. At the 2009 Indian Wells Masters, Nadal won his 13th Masters 1000 Series tournament, defeating Murray in the final. The next ATP Tour event was the 2009 Miami Masters. Nadal advanced to the quarterfinals, where he again faced Argentinian Del Potro. 
this time losing the match, Nadal began his European clay court season at the Monte Carlo Masters, where he defeated Novak Djokovic to win a record fifth consecutive singles title there. He then won back-to-back -back titles in Barcelona and Rome Masters, defeating Ferrer and Djokovic respectively. He then surprisingly lost the final of the Madrid Open to Roger Federer. This was the first time that Nadal had lost to Federer since the semi-finals of the 2007 Tennis Masters Cup. By beating Leighton Hewitt in the third round of French Open, Nadal set a record of 31 consecutive wins at Roland Garros, beating the previous record of 28 by Bjorn Borg. This run came to an end on the 31st of May 2009, when Nadal lost to eventual runner-up, Robin Sutherling in the fourth round. This was Nadal's first end, until 2015, only lost at the French Open. After his surprise defeat at Roland Garros, Nadal withdrew from the Egon Championships. It was confirmed that he was suffering from tendonitis in both of his knees. On the 19th of June, Nadal withdrew from the 2009 Wimbledon Championships, citing his recurring knee injury. Roger Federer went on to win the title and Nadal consequently dropped back to number 2 on the 6th of July 2009. On the 4th of August, Tony Nadal confirmed that Nadal would return to play at the Rogers Cup in Montreal. There, he lost in the quarterfinals to one Martin Del Potro. With this loss, he relinquished the number 2 spot to Andy Murray on the 17th of August 2009, ranking outside the top 2 for the first time since the 25th of July 2005. At the US Open Nadal fell in the semi-finals, losing to eventual champion Juan Martin Del Potro. At the World Tour Finals, Nadal lost to all three of his matches against Robin Sutherling, Nikolai Davidenko, and Novak Djokovic respectively without winning a set. In December, Nadal participated in the second Davis Cup final of his career. He defeated Thomas Burdich in his first singles rubber to give the Spanish Davis Cup team their first point in the tie. After the Spanish Davis Cup team had secured its fourth Davis Cup victory, Nadal defeated Jan Hardjuk in the first Davis Cup dead rubber of his career. Nadal finished the year as number two for the fourth time in five years. Nadal won the Golden Bagel Award for the third time in 2009, with 9-6-0 sets during the year. 2010 return to number one in career grand slam nadal began the year by participating in the capitola world tennis championship in abu dhabi in the final nadal defeated robin sutterling in straight sets nadal participated in the qatar exxon mobile open atp 250 event in doha where he lost in the finals to nikolai davidenko in the australian open nadal reached the quarterfinals where he had to pull out a 3-0 down in the third set against Andy Murray. After examining Nadal's knees, doctors told him that he should take two weeks of rest, and then two weeks of rehabilitation. Nadal reached the semi-finals in singles at the BNP Paribas Open at Indian Wells, where he was defeated by Ivan Ljubicic in three sets. After Indian Wells, Nadal reached the semi-finals of the Sony Ericsson Open, where he lost to eventual champion Andy Roddick in three sets. Nadal won the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters, beating Fernando Verdasco in the final. With this win, Nadal became the first player in the Open era to win a tournament title for six straight years. Nadal next chose to skip the Barcelona tournament, and his next tournament was the Rome Masters. He defeated David Ferrer in the final for his fifth title at Rome. Nadal then won a Please subscribe Wiki Audio YouTube page below. Click notification or bell icon to get future videos uploaded as instant notification. And write your valuable comment, suggestion, feedback to improve in future videos. Check out channel page to get more videos and share this channel to your friends and relatives.